Hi everyone, I've popped into the food bank this morning and it won't surprise you to hear that it's been really really busy in here over the last few weeks. Uh, people are really going above and beyond to do what they can and to give what they have to be able to help those who are most in need in our communities. And it's really inspiring actually to, to be here and to hear some of the stories. I was talking to someone just yesterday who is on furlough from work at the moment and instead of just sitting at home and waiting for all of this to be over he's decided that he wants to volunteer his time at the food bank uh, to do what he can and to give what he has uh, to be able to help. We've been journeying together this week through Holy Week. Um, we've been looking at Matthew's account so far from Palm Sunday as Jesus journeys through uh, to the cross and we're going to continue reading from Matthew today uh, we're going to look at chapter 25 Jesus is spending some time with his disciples and uh, we're going to start reading at verse 14 again the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a trip he called together his servants and gave them money to invest for him while he was gone he gave five bags of gold to one, two bags of gold to another, and one bag of gold to the last, dividing it in proportion to their abilities. And then he left on his trip. The servant who received the five bags of gold began immediately to invest the money and soon doubled it. The servant with two bags of gold also went right to work and he doubled the money. But the servant who received the one bag of gold dug a hole in the ground and hid the master's money for safekeeping. After a long time, the master returned from his trip and called them to give an account of how they had used his money. The servant to whom he had entrusted the five bags of gold said, Sir, you gave me five bags of gold to invest, and I have doubled the amount. The master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Let's celebrate together. Next came the servant who had received the two bags of gold, with the report, Sir, you gave me two bags of gold to invest, and I have doubled the amount. The master said, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Let's celebrate together. Then the servant with the one bag of gold came and said, Sir, I know you're a hard man, harvesting crops you didn't plant, and gathering crops you didn't cultivate. I was afraid I would lose your money, so I hid it in the earth, and here it is. But the master replied, you wicked and lazy servant. You should at least have put my money into the bank so that I could have got some interest. Take the money from this servant and give it to the one with the ten bags of gold. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given and they will have an abundance. But from those who are unfaithful, even what little they have will be taken away. So let me ask you this, this morning, what have you been given? Maybe you feel just now like a lot has been taken away from you, your freedom for instance, but what have you been given? What's in your hand? What has God provided for you that you might be able to use to increase the influence of the kingdom of God where you are? I heard about a friend of mine uh, just the other day who was encouraging her church um, when they go out for their daily exercise um, to prayer walk around their community. To not just go for a walk as they might usually do, but to use the opportunity to pray. And when they walk past the house of somebody that they know to pray a blessing on that household, to pray health and protection. If they were to walk past a school, uh, to pray for the children, to pray for the families who perhaps are struggling figuring out how to school their kids at the moment, to pray for the teachers, if they were to walk past a shop, to give thanks for the people who are serving us and, and helping us and, uh, and giving us the things that we need to be able to keep functioning as a society. What have you been given? What's in your hand? 
It might be something material. It might be time. It might be prayer. Let me encourage you today, as you go about your day, to remember that for as much as things may have been taken away from us in these weeks, God has given us so much. And there's so much that we can use to increase the influence of the kingdom of God where we are. Let's pray together. Father, thank you that you give us so much. You're such a generous God. Would you remind us today of how blessed we are and help us to do what we can where we are to increase the influence of your kingdom in our communities. For we ask it in the name of Jesus. Amen.